Good morning, folks. Evolution. For once, I'd like your opinions. This should be a good discussion today. Shellfish and other crustaceans have joined dolphins on the list of dead animals on the Peruvian coast. A huge bailout was not enough for Spain's Bankia, as we are quickly learning that Greece is not unique. This is the latest Chinese commsat blasting off a few hours ago. Everyone in the United States needs to check Torcon today. Yesterday's predictions have severe weather hitting central states and others. Check this article out talking about the strange weather events taking place this year, bunch just in 2012 alone. NOAA has something in common with banks, medical companies, and other government agencies this year. Their leaders are leaving. Barrel is creeping closer to shore here. There are literally millions of people potentially in the path of this subtropical storm. In the next 24 hours, asteroid KP24 will skim past the Earth. This is the closest relevant NEO we've had in a while, but it is still predicted to miss with more than an entire Earth being able to fit between us. Another day, another quake up north, at least this one's a bit smaller than the last couple of days. And although this is just a 4.4, which isn't going to scare anyone, it is very large for a Virgin Island quake. It does have me worried that more is coming. The Ovation Prime shows just middle of the road particle bombardment from the solar wind, but this is misleading because the interplanetary magnetic tether, which connects to the sun on the Earth footprint, just recently moved from over there on the left where the active regions are when this eruption occurred. Now you might remember that when eruptions occur near the Earth footprint, solar wind doesn't matter. It accelerates electrons and protons along that magnetic tether and that's what's happened here. We are almost at radiation storm levels. A quick note about this area right here on the sun. You may have seen a video in the last couple of days talking about a sphere here, some kind of UFO. It's the same coronal cavity mechanism we've been talking about for months. The video maker knows better. I'll bet if you're one of those people out there who aren't crazy, you are sick of this type of fear mongering. Back to the news, the active regions that spurred the particle flux with an eruption are complex. I suppose I can go with Noah's beta label for now, but there are hints of gamma class everywhere and any kind of morphing is going to have to make this labeled beta gamma or perhaps even beta gamma delta. I expect more flares and CMEs in the coming days as Mercury conjoins behind the sun here today. If you could see further left, Venus is heading in this way as well. June begins with the lunar eclipse on the 4th during that full moon, and one day afterwards, the Venus transit. I'm a broken record for a reason, folks. That's the news. Be safe.